Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron, Sorgatron.com. Let's get into it. Let's talk in some social media. Uh, you know, I talk a lot about it over on the newsletter and, and on the website and in these shows. I know it's uh, we actually went a little bit more video bloggy earlier this week. That's okay. That's kind of what the crux of this is supposed to be. Uh, but again, most things on my mind are the video, the podcast, the social media, you know, um, which are like the three cores of my business uh, these days. So, so. It's genuinely on my mind. Uh, but anyways, I, I, I've been talking with a lot of clients about coming in and doing stuff, uh, you know, starting up some podcasts, starting up some social media. Um, and, and, and and I've started kind of like kind of deciphering, like, how do we kind of and, and this is something I need to outline more, maybe in like a price structure or something like that. But how do people take on social media? Right. Most of the times. We're not dealing with large companies. Obviously, a large company, you put a person on that, and they're in the marketing department, and they do this and that, or whatever it is. Or you have less value in social media, and you have an intern do it. You know, I mean, there's there's those types of things, types of things. But I'm talking about like how I can help um, as a pra- practitioner of social media. Is that? Is I feel douchey saying that word, but anyways, it's like at least I'm not calling myself a social media expert. Um, but anyways. And tangent here, there was a really good, I can't remember where it was, but but I, I don't know, it was an email trying to sell me something or something, but it really kind of resonated with me. The idea of don't call yourself a social media expert, be one. Oh, never mind. That was an ad for the Hootsuite Academy that we're looking into. <laughs> never mind. Uh, but I like that, co- I like the idea of the concept, at least romantically, uh, to begin with. But anyways, so... When I'm dealing with some clients, uh, there's a few things that that, that we, we tend to look at. We're trying to decide what is a good fit. Uh, there's those clients that have no idea what the heck they're doing with Twitter, don't know what they're doing with Facebook, don't know what they're doing with LinkedIn. Maybe they posted one and there's like a post on there or a couple of posts, something like that, right? Or this is just the place where we they put news or they put their products that they're releasing, something to that effect, which isn't – I mean, okay, they know how to broadcast, Right. But it's not really good use of it. In those cases, they will bring somebody in, whether it be myself or 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 my colleague uh, uh, here with Sorgatron Media, or, or or they hire somebody in, something like that. And and maybe they just want to, uh, okay, here's our social media, uh, do it. This is what we do, do it. In that case, I mean, we have to sit down and figure out, okay, what are we looking at? You know, who are you trying to target? Where are we having that conversation? You know, much like a marketing plan, but for getting people engaged with whatever your product is, you know, whether it be a financial product, whether it be healthcare, how how do we get a conversation going around what you're doing and get them invested in what you're doing? That, that's, that's really, really, it's a really interesting problem to solve. Then there's also a little bit of, well, okay, there's, there's the, the far end of the spectrum where maybe you're a smaller, smaller, smaller business. You can't afford to have somebody just do your social media all the time. And even that's limited, you know, do you hire somebody full time to keep an eye on that thing? Or, you you know, they're dedicating only a few hours a week. How does that happen? Are you uh, for us, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to incorporate a soft hour that they pay for. That's really just that check in time. Right. Yeah, there's going to be the hours where you you, you set in and, and you schedule things out and you and you manage everything and you take a look at everything. And then there's going to be that. You know, you need that responsive time, which is, you know, for 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 me, it's going to be I put you in my app on my Twitter app on here or whatever else and get notifications. So I'm going to see a notification um, and be able to respond to a customer um, thanking you, needing help, has a problem. You need to do that. You really need to do that as any level of business. Uh, the, the the sample I've been I've been given, and I really need to res- research this, so it's 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 I, I, it's the right one. But I think it was uh, like Pampers or somebody, uh, some diaper company, and there was some backlash from mom groups online uh, over the weekend. And by the time somebody came in there at 8 a.m. on Monday morning, when their social media team is there because they turn their phones off for the rest of the weekend because they're like, no, this is a nine to five. Which I you know, as the person, I I get that, uh, but in the meantime. They've been railed against all weekend, and nobody paid attention to it in the company, and they don't start rep- responding until Monday morning when this thing's been going since probably Saturday sometime. So there's been two days, sometimes three if it was Friday night, to, of just being railed against, right, uh, in social media. And and 
and you're you haven't been responsive to it and you need to be in social media but the other side is uh, you know teaching teaching them how to fish you know Te- teaching them uh, uh how to use social media because maybe they don't need to hire somebody on full time maybe they just need an advisor maybe they just need a little bit of education that's something that uh, you know we provided with with podcast pittsburgh showing people how to kind of get started with that and sometimes they'll get into it and then realize oh i can't do all this stuff you know and it is a lot and and it is overwhelming and i think for people you don't need to be on every social media platform you should keep an eye out you know but maybe that's not going to be your core competence competency like for me video and video is my is my core competency doing this on a microphone and doing podcasts are my our core competency doing the business and writing the checks are not my core competency so i have somebody to do those for me thankfully thankfully my wife is amazing uh in figuring that kind of stuff out because i they would just fall by the website because i'm not good at that part of business dealings right i, I mean uh, any problem with a freelancer is is you know you wanted to do this because you want to do the thing that you want to do you know you 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 became a graphic designer because you want to design graphics right you don't want to do all the taxes and this and this and this you know i want to do the fun stuff <laughs> or or the stuff that's that's that 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 is the good stuff that will uh, grow you make you money whatever the case may be um and, and that's the same thing with a lot of smaller businesses or or, or whatnot in social media um you know, we, we talk about pro wrestling a lot on here, but really to be a successful pro wrestler, you need to be good in the ring, technically, be good on the mic and visually and everything, be an actor, take some improv classes, something like that. Plus, you need to be a good business person so you're not taking crappy bookings that are not helping you. Plus, you need to be a good marketer so you're using social media. Uh, Cole Caban has been in Rolling Stone several times. Look him up. Uh, he's created a, me- a small media empire between his podcast and his own bookings, and now he doesn't even need the WWE to support him and be successful in the pro wrestling business, which is fantastic. But that's what you want, you know? And I don't know. Maybe he's hired a guy to help, or maybe he's just, just generally proficient or learned to be proficient in it the business side the marketing side of what he's doing but but maybe you're um you know a small company that you're uh, a, a bakery or something you're like i want to bake cakes i want to do this what am i doing on social media now i think there's a little bit to be said for um there's an intersection with that i, I say you're making something visual like like cakes like 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 paintings like whatever it is it's not too much probably of a stretch to take a picture with your phone, throw it on Instagram, and now a bunch of people are checking out your, your wares, you know? Or or as we used to do when we had the cafe my wife was running, she did like she was really kind of big on baked goods. So we took a pictures of muffins and the food and everything. We put it in newsletters, we put it on Facebook, and and and, and one guy still every time she cooks something uh and, and you know, just for a, an odd job here or there, and she puts it on Facebook, the one guy messages me and is like, I'm eating my phone right now. You know, I I mean that that works right and it's not above and beyond and it doesn't have to be a huge campaign it just has to be an opening for people to engage with you maybe that is a newsletter that they can respond to maybe that is putting on facebook and everybody's like oh cupcakes oh why am i downtown i need to come to mount lebanon you know it was a lot there was a lot of responsiveness we had with that campaign and we didn't need a ton you know it was a small cafe we could fit 25 people in the thing we don't need people lined it'd be great to have people lined up the door uh, it would probably be still open if that was no, there actually the other problems happened that had nothing to do with any of that stuff. But uh, you know, but but that's the thing. And how do you integrate that and 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 do what makes sense? If Twitter doesn't make sense for you, there's a couple of my clients that I'm still trying to figure out like where do we have that conversation on Twitter, um, and, and I'm just coming around to it on figuring that part out for them. Uh, but Facebook's where a lot of conversations, especially with those healthcare clients, uh, that that's the level of of target audience and where that conversation is going to happen uh, and then there's the middle of the road maybe uh you're a little more uh you know you want part of a hand in it but you don't understand it completely and this is this is a kind of a personality based quiz sometimes too because i think a lot of times there can be a hand in hand uh kind of uh let's say symbiotic uh, relationship it was used a lot of times in the phone calls i was having yesterday uh where where you don't need a guy full time, but you need somebody to kind of come up with that strategy. Yeah, you need to be here, here, and here, and kind of um, and doing the maybe the the marketing, scheduling, and everything on, on on Twitter to try to get that engagement going and keeps an ear out. But I think especially like some of these smaller business brands practitioners, like it's their name. 
So it would be weird to be like, hi, I'm I'm Joe Smith, a uh, mental health professional. I'm, I'm sorry, I deal with a lot of mental health professionals. Uh, and and I'm being that voice. It becomes difficult. It's not impossible, of course. But I think there does need to be that element. Uh, I think there you kind of look at how WWE does things where everybody, all the wrestlers have their own accounts. So Joe Smith practitioner has his own account and they have some kind of tie. I've I've been investigating this a little bit. They have some kind of tie. I think they have everything in Hootsuite. And while um, John Cena is tweeting about whatever John Cena wants to tweet about, you will also see promotional material and they're pushed out by WWE itself. They're linked in there. You know, you'll see, hey, make sure you guys watch SummerSlam tonight and and da 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 da. And it's the same, you know, if you follow several of the wrestlers, it's the same across the board. So maybe Joe Smith, he's he's mostly taking care of himself and we're teaching him how to respond to things. But then there's also, hey, remember to check out, we got a coupon for X and X or check out this event that uh, 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 Joe's going to be speaking at. And and that comes out periodically and we on, on a, you know, scheduled time, you know. I'm not against automation, but you can't just rely on automation. That was a whole other discussion uh, that I, 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 creeped into on our tweet jukebox episode from earlier this week so please go check that out as well so what do you think uh what do you think about those kind of levels of interactivity are are you a social media um um professional not expert we're not saying the e-word here um because uh, there was a whole other podcast on that uh but uh fishing without bait expert mind just look it up i think i talked about it on here a little bit a couple weeks ago as well uh but uh where do you fit in that do you think you know, do, do, do you see the kind of layers of things? Are, are there some interesting relationships that you've done with clients that maybe I haven't seen yet? Uh, I'd love to hear from you and uh, and, and, and let me know. Uh, let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter, uh, Sorgatron.com. You can comment on this post or if you're on the video on YouTube, you could comment there as well. Uh, please subscribe to everything. All the links at the bottom of the post on Sorgatron.com about all the audio and video sources. You can find us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for everybody that listens. Seriously, it's really cool uh, that when I hear somebody and say, hey, I heard your thing the other day. You know, I mean, because, well, maybe that'll be a whole other podcast. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.